I just moved to LA from Florida, and I gotta tell you guys, I really like this place. I really do, I like this place. You guys got terrific weather, you got beautiful mountain backdrop wherever you go. You got beautiful women with teeth, like I'm not, <laughs> I'm not used to women with teeth where I'm from. You got 32 teeth where I'm from, your wifey material on the spot, okay? <laughs> No, I'm serious, but I feel like the women in L.A. are a little too superficial. Does anybody else feel like that? I feel like they're too superficial, you know what I mean? I meet beautiful women all the time, and they're always alone. And I got to send a message out to the ladies of L.A. If you're over the age of 28 and you're still single, that's your fault, you know what I mean? Lower those expectations. Lower those expectations, ladies. Too many women in L.A. think they're supposed to end up with some six-foot-five, big, big, mythical creature with a pocket full of money. And he doesn't exist, okay? He doesn't. And even if he does, he doesn't want you. You're not 25 anymore. Let that ship go, okay? No, I'm serious. There's too many sexy flexy dudes getting ran after in LA, okay? I was at a bar recently. A girl drunk $158 of my money. So I knew I was going to get laid, okay? At least a phone number or something. She's with her friends. I'm with mine. I said, hey, before you go back with your friends, let me get your phone number. She was like, oh, no. <laughs> right? She was, I'm serious. She was like, I know we've been vibing and all, but you're not really my type. I like tall men. She's five foot three, but she likes tall men. I'm like, tall men? Why do women like tall men? Why? I'm trying to figure y'all out. Don't you know that 90% of NBA players grew up in single parent households? You know what that tells me? Tall niggas leave. You should get you somebody under six feet, okay? Be comfortable with yourself. No, he's coming home, okay? Bills are gonna be paid. Stop trying to give it these sexy flexy dudes. It's too much. It's too much. I was at a pool party. I took my shirt off with my day. She got mad at me. I'm serious. I took my shirt off. She was like, oh. I was like, oh. She was like, I thought you would have abs because of how slim you were. I was like, abs? <laughs> I'm almost 30. That's a child's body. I ain't got no abs. That's a broke nigga accessory. I got a 401k. I don't need abs. I can buy shit. You know what I mean? Dinner, vacation, lobster. Abs can't buy that shit. Guts, receding hairlines. That's what buys that, lady. Get with it. I'm serious. It's too much. You like these sexy, flexy dudes. I don't understand it. I live in Inglewood by the Forum. We just had a Drake concert. You won't believe how women get dressed up to go to the concert. Breast, pow, ass, pow. And I'm like, this nigga can't even see you. Why are you doing this? Why? I want to sleep with Rihanna. I don't go to a concert, you know what I mean? <laughs> Thinking she go spot me and be like, ooh, girl, I haven't seen that nigga backstage. Who? That short, average-looking nigga right there, Ronaldo. She ain't doing that shit. Let that go. Let that go. Let that sexy, flexy dudes go. The best chance you got to give somebody who's going to be famous is to sleep with the funny comedian on stage. That's the best <laughs> chance. That wasn't a joke. Don't laugh at that. That wasn't a joke, goddamn. No, I'm serious. Let that shit go, man. Ugly dudes is where it's at. You gotta get you an ugly dude. I'm serious, we're the best, okay? I don't understand people. You rolled here today in a car with AC. An ugly dude invented that, okay? <laughs> You're using a cell phone. An ugly dude invented that. We help your world out. Listen, if the Idris Elbows, the boy band members of the world all die, the world will keep spinning. Let ugly dudes die. It's apocalypse in this motherfucker, okay? <laughs> There's no running water, there's no clean food. We control this place, okay? I'm serious, you gotta get you an ugly dude. We're the best, think about this. Let's say you get caught in a burning building. You think your more attractive husband's coming in to save you? No! You gonna burn the hell up, you're dead right there. Ugly dude, climbing them steps, saving your life. You're the best thing happened to him. Save yourself, ladies, okay? You're an eight, get you a six. You're a six, get you a four. You're a four, get you a two. You're a two, get you some surgery. Turn yourself into a six. Don't stay a two. Don't punish yourself. You don't deserve that. It worked for the Kardashians. It could work for you. I'm serious, man. Ugly dudes, well, where's that? You got to get you one. I don't want you to get any ugly dude, though. You know what I mean? I want you to get you an ugly dude who compliments you. Get you an ugly dude who's financially stable that loves you. Okay? I mean, ladies, why the hell not? Y'all copy everything else Beyonce is doing. Copy this too. What? Y'all know that nigga ugly, a billionaire. It don't make no 
make handsome billionaires. It's cool though, Jay-Z, he's my role model, okay? I'm serious, he is. I look up to Jay-Z, because every time I see him, I think to myself, if you can get Beyonce, I know I can sleep with Rihanna, you know what I mean? I need two TV credits and I'm right there. She ain't making no damn music no more. She gonna be mine, just y'all watch, just y'all watch. No, nah, man, but I like L.A., man. I do, I like L.A., man. But I miss the South. I gotta admit, I miss the South. And the crazy thing about the South, I miss the trucks more than anything. Yeah, in the South, men drive trucks. That's a man's vehicle. It means you have a job and you're doing shit with yourself. <laughs> I brought my truck out to L.A. Desert, he killed it. Now I got a Prius. It's, this should not be inside of a Prius, okay? This is dreadlocks and two felony charges. It should never be inside of a Prius, okay? It's the worst thing happening to me, okay? I'm serious, man. Like, I don't feel safe in my Prius, you know? It's too light a vehicle. It's a trash car. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> it is. I've driven golf cars tougher than Priuses, okay? It's too light a vehicle. If you fart hard in a Prius, it'll change lanes. It's, it's a piece of shit. <laughs> I'm not joking. On the way here, Khalil was dancing in my car. I'm like, I'm gonna have to get my alignment changed because of this damn shit right here. <laughs> but I, I say this. Nobody told me the one great thing about Priuses that Priuses were invisibility spells for Negroes. Because I scare white women when I walk the street at night, okay? But you put me inside of a Prius? <laughs> Bitch, I'm Wayne Brady, okay? <laughs> I am America's favorite Negro inside of a Prius. I'm serious, I know this for a fact because I got caught at a drug checkpoint in Inglewood and it was gonna be a bad night for me, okay, folks? I was going to jail that night. I had <laughs> Percocet, mushrooms, weed on me. I was definitely going to prison. So I'm pulling up to the checkpoint, the cop's yelling at me, roll down your window, let me see your ID. And as I started to hand him my ID, he did a double take of my car, he was like, hey man, just go and get out of here, your punk ass, you ain't got nothing on you in this Prius, I ain't about to waste my time with you, boy. I was tempted to tell him I'm riding dirty in here, you know, but I saved myself, you know? That's why I like my Prius, it lets me be non-threatening, you know what I mean? And as a comedian, that's what I wanna do, that's why I dress like this. That's why I got on these goddamn skinny jeans. I don't care what rappers say to you, you see a black man in skinny jeans, he's the least threatening person in the room, okay? These are the Priuses of pants. You can't, you can't do nothing in these. I can't fight nobody, I can't rob nobody. I dropped my phone, when are y'all gonna have to pick it up for me? I'm not lying. I don't care what they told you about these damn pants, man. I'm serious, man, that's why I look like this, you know what I mean? Cause when women see me, I don't want them to get scared. I want them to stop and ask their children, honey, honey. Is that one of the amigos you've been telling me about right there? <laughs> I'm serious, man, I like this place, man. I like LA. One thing I don't like about LA, I gotta say this. I, I'm, I'm not a fan of the politics. I'm from a red state. And anytime you bring up politics in Cali, everybody goes right to impeachment. Like, oh, we gotta get rid of Trump. We gotta get rid of Trump, Renato, he's the worst. We gotta get that guy out of office. And I'm like, no, let that nigga serve all his time, okay? Because people who wanna get rid of Trump, I don't think you're paying attention to who your vice president is, okay? Yeah. They're not, they're not. We lose Trump, we're gonna end up with Mike Pence as a president and fuck that, okay? I'd rather have a dumb president than an insane one. Mike Pence is certifiable, y'all know this, right? This is a man who believes in gay conversion therapy. Now, black people, we know you can't pray the gay away. If you could, we lose all our choir directors. There'd be no more Tyler Perry movies. Oh. He's 6'9 in a dress, y'all be quiet. Y'all know what it is, I'm just saying. It all stops. Besides, I don't wanna get rid of Trump. He's too fun, he's too fun. Everybody's like, but he's a racist. I'm like, I don't care, he's bad at racism. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Trump is hilarious to me. Man's got more quotables than Jesus and Tupac combined, okay? <laughs> Sons of bitches. They're nice people. If Ivanka was my, wasn't my daughter, I'd be dating her. Like, nigga, <laughs> grabbing by the pussy, that's the cherry on top. I'm like, this is perfection. I like this guy. Besides, like I said, he's bad at racism. You can't be scared of this dude. He got elected for his grand racist idea, which is he's gonna build a wall to stop Mexicans. First time he said it, I thought, that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard of. <laughs> can't stop construction workers with construction, nigga. <laughs> He's clearly never been to Home Depot. He's never been to Home Depot. He would know Mexicans are terrific builders. If we build a wall, Mexicans just go build ladders and slides, okay? 
They'll turn that thing into an amusement park, goddammit. Get to the top, they'll be selling churros and fake IDs. This girl, get in the picture. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, guys, we've had a terrific time tonight. You guys have been excellent and, um, oh, please, yes, thank you, thank you. Go ahead, do that, do an early clap. Um, to any celebrities at home watching, uh, if I made fun of you, don't sweat it. I'm gonna make fun of your friends too later on in the next special. You know what I mean? Because when it comes to this comedy thing, man, I'm not a fan. I'm not a friend of anybody's. You know, I'm just a killer. That's what we do on stage. So always remember Ronaldo Evans, killing shit. Thank you guys so much.